Hey guys, it's Bonds, and if you're wondering why me talking sounds like the second worst sound you've ever heard, other than your parents making love in the other room, it's because I'm not at my uh, usual recording space, so I don't have my camera or microphone with me. So I have to use my stupid friggin' microphone built into my laptop, so that's why it sounds grating and bad. So, get used to it, screw you. I just wanted to record this anyway, because I kind of feel like I needed to respond to this, since it's such a respondable video, to say the least. The video we're going to be talking about is the Titans trailer rant by Drake from State Farm 2018. I'll get into why this video is bad in literally like five seconds, but it's just so, it's just so good. I, you need to see it to uh, believe it. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Teen Titans trailer for the new movie that's coming out. Man, doing research sure is fun. You should try it sometime. It's really weird that you called this a movie, even though literally the first thing you see when you watch the video is the word TV. It's not a movie. So all the criticisms that pertain to it being a movie are just automatically disproven and not valuable at all. Why are you releasing two Teen Titans movies in the span of four months. Why is that? Don't you think it'd be infinitely more easy for parents to confuse the two? Even if the Titans is a movie, again, the first thing you see is the waiting, which is TVMA, which is R in movie terminology. I don't think people are going to mistake an R-rated movie that children can go into in any way with a G-rated movie, or PG, I don't really know what the Teen Titans thing is. You might think I'm just jumping to conclusions, but believe me, I have experience with stupid, stupid parents that do that. I wonder if his parents beat him after he watched this video. Stop the fucking trailer. Who is this? Is this Raven? If it's Raven, it's gotta be the worst fucking costume I've ever seen. You literally said that you aren't jumping to conclusions, then you jump to a very obvious, jumpable conclusion. You don't know who that is because it's the silhouette of the back of someone's head in a hoodie. And even if it is Raven, and it is a bad costume, you won't be able to see it because, again, it's just the silhouette of the back of someone's head. Also, where is she? Is this a horror movie or an action movie? What is this? It's the... Teen Titans uh, TV series, actually, which I'm assuming is going to be an action series, because why would they make it a horror movie? Is this like some rocket chamber? What what room is this? What is any of this? You know, the point of a teaser trailer like this is to uh, not explain everything. It's common knowledge that teaser trailers don't reveal anything besides the base premise of the show. You're just showing a bunch of action clips. This makes it look like just a stupid, soulless action movie with non-stop explosions and fighting and all that. An action movie would have some action in it. I can't agree to that statement. But you seem to be just using a bunch of hyperbole to make it sound worse than it actually is. Because I don't see any plot here. Again, it's a teaser trailer. Seriously, why is everything so dark and brooding and edgy? It's not necessary. It doesn't fit with Teen Titans or is how Teen Titans has come to be now. Teen Titans Go. A, a show that came out five years ago is still running strong, and I think that image is now permanently burned onto someone's memory. So you're saying that because Teen Titans Go exists, then you can't have the actual Teen Titans or a serious version of Teen Titans. That's just stupid. That's just a stupid point. I, there's no, like, reasonable explanation as to why that would make sense. Teen Titans Go and Teen Titans are basically two separate things now, even though they have the same name. One is for children, and one is for more mature children, or adults. One is a movie, and one is a TV show. There's a lot of differences that I could list here, but I want to keep this video short. Even if they make a good movie, no one's gonna see it. No one likes DC anymore. I can think of multiple people that still like DC, including a large majority of America. I personally don't care for either of them. I haven't watched a Marvel or DC movie in full in many years, so I have no say in either of these. I'm looking at this from an outsider's perspective, and these are stupid points that you're making. And I hate DC, and I think DC should go bankrupt by how deplorable idiotic, and just wrong 
their movies are. Ugh, I don't like DC because DC is stupid and gay and stupid, and I hate it because it's friggin' stupid. There were no points in this video. The only points that he did say and that could even be misconstrued as points aren't really points. They're more just him saying that the show is stupid over and over again. I hate everything about them. From the acting, to how incoherent everything is, to how stupid the writing is, to everyone that worked on it! Ooh, someone seems passionate about blindly hitting things. Just to clarify, I didn't like the Titans trailer, but I had legitimate reasons as to why I didn't like the Titans trailer. These points that you're saying are not points against the trailer. These points make you look like a bad commentator. Because these points are just you saying that DC is stupid every five seconds. And the fact that you didn't realize that this wasn't a movie, and that this was not for children, and all of the misconceptions that you shared in this video, just, just proves that you kind of watched this video out just to uh, make it to the hate bandwagon, basically. So anyways, once again, I'm not a Marvel fanboy uh, complaining about all this. I just think that this rant that you made is not that good of a rant, and your points are not good. I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully with actual production value put into it, because I hate the fact that I forgot to bring my microphone. See you all in the next video, and goodbye!